Uh, today's topic is uh, sink or swim training. What's that? That's what we tend to do in veterinary medicine. After we hire the wrong person, because we're in such a hurry, we throw them in to sink or swim. If they make it, that's great. Um, if they don't, um, we find someone to blame it on. And I think that's a culture that we need to change. We need to, um, first of all, take a little bit more time in hiring and not hire the first person that says they've always loved animals. We need to um, bring them on the right way, and we don't do that. And we're, we're always in a crisis mode, and it's very typical for a new employee in any position to come in, and maybe they get, you know, the first day they fill out some forms, maybe they get a tour of the hospital. Um, once we do that, we tend to say, follow her around and do what she does, or do what he does. They'll show you the ropes. and. It may, first of all, not be a person that's qualified to train them, but there's no plan. There's no step-by-step, -step, here's what we need to show you, here's what you need to know by the end of day one, week one, month one. Um, we tend to just throw them in and, and see how they're going to do, and that's not a way to train a new employee. We need to have a plan, and it doesn't, again, it doesn't matter what position, we need to institute phase training in every position, where the trainer is accountable for showing very specific um, it, it, whether it's a skill or a protocol or a policy, somebody has to take responsibility to show it to the employee. The employee has to take responsibility to acknowledge whether or not they've been trained, if they understand it, and then there's accountability, there's a sign-off. And that's the only way that we can make sure that everybody's getting trained the same way, with the same information, and build some quality back into our training, training protocols. We can't just expect people to absorb it. It just doesn't happen and is probably one of the, um, after hiring the wrong person, probably the biggest reason for turnover in a practice is people just don't get the training that they need and then they don't fit with the team um, or they don't learn you know, the skill that we want to teach them and I think it's critical. We need to take more time.